Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of Fallout 2 where we have an extra long episode because we are talking to literally everyone in Gecko this time around and there was literally no good way to cut it up so you all get an extra long episode of Fallout 2 today. And I hope you all enjoy. Now on to the fun part. We're playing some Fallout 2 learning what I actually need to be doing uh, out in Gecko because I actually don't, I don't, I know there's something of like, hey, make a bargain, not bargain, but like a, be diplomatic and go like, hey, Gecko has this thing and you need this thing. How about some trade? And, you know, all that good stuff. But I don't actually remember how to actually do that. I just know, know it needs to be done. Oh. Who's this dog? What's in here? Seems like a box. Hey, I'm Woos. What do you want? Woos, Woos? You want a sip? You want a drink, eh? Well, what we've got our very own gallon gold beer at five dollars a bottle. And for special occasions, our Rotogen rum at twelve dollars a bottle. Want to buy a round of your fabulous gallon gold beer for everyone here? You want to buy a round of drinks for everyone here? Must be really hard. Be a hard up for friends. And it'll cost you thirty-five dollars. Us is of no object, my good sir. I'd like a round of drinks for everyone here, Woos. This is how you make allies. Could you tell me about this place? Not much to tell, really. It's a bunch of ghouls clinging internationally to the ass end of life. I'd say that describes a lot of describes a lot of people. Doing that. That may be so. But not everyone has a city full of lunatics thirsting for their blood. What do you mean? Those assholes in Bot City. If anyone's going to cap us, it's them. You're fucking crazy. Anyone's, anyone's not just as fucked up in the head as they are, and they want to kill them. Wait. And as they are, and they want to. That doesn't, that doesn't work. I'd rather, I'd watch myself around them if I were you. Sounds like good advice. I'll, I'll be careful. Let me ask you another question. Though. I run this place. You dumb. I sell drinks, trade for things, tell stories, play tragic. Mm hmm Okay, well that's all from there. Nothing too fancy. Besides the... Besides the fact that a lot of the ghouls around the drinks learned that the Vault City absolutely hates Gecko, and namely their inhabitants. Hello there, my name's Lenny. How can I help you today? What do you do around here? Well, I have to help help mostly. Well when people get hurt, help them out. A power to what? I help minister of the town. There's always more paperwork to do. What else do you say you did here? Well, I help Harold mostly. When people get hurt, I help them out. Have you ever heard of a gek? Gek? Hmm. I heard that Vault City had one of those. That's the only one I've ever heard of, though. Well, my ancestor, the Vault Dweller, the Vault 13 owes us one. We need to be able to find it. Hmm. I don't, didn't actually meet the Vault Dweller. But I saw them once. 
Is that developed? Interesting. It, it was a long time ago, in a place called the Cropless. A lot of us ghouls lived there. One day I saw someone running through the city. Running. Yes, right. You, you see, we ghouls can't run too much anymore. So I knew it was an outsider when I saw them. They ran by so close I could have touched them. Wish that I had joined the Vault Dweller. You wanted to join my grandson? Yes. I had the chance of a lifetime. I blew it. What do you mean? Later, I heard that the Vault Dweller had fixed our water system. The Vault Dweller had saved us. All of us. Do you understand? It didn't matter that we were ghouls. For once, it didn't matter. We were people again. Worth saving. My ancestor was the founder of, the, of our tribe. That memory is revered amongst my people. Amongst myself. Later, I heard that the Vault Dweller destroyed the source of the mutant army. Vault Dweller saved all of us. Human and ghoul alike. Could have been part of that. I lacked the courage. I've never forgiven myself. I'm sure that the work you do here amongst the ghouls has value. It was, a ghoul. it was good to hear of my ancestor. Goodbye. That was that was cool. That was a cool little like lore catch up in a sense. Like if you've somehow played Fallout 2. Actually, I can't say somehow because as a kid, not as a kid, because I definitely could not touch any of the Fallout games. But as a younger, as an older teenager, when I did was able to play the Fallout games. I played Fallout 2 more than I played Fallout 1. That's for certain. I think at least. Then again, I really don't know too much. I know I... Hello there, smooth skin. Hello. My name's Harold. I help keep this town running. That's... Uh, this is our buddy Harold, with a tree in his noggin. He's the best of the best. And even in, Fall in Fallout 3, we get to meet him again. As a tree. He's a very actually I don't remember if he's happy at that point. Hmm. So let's get skin. Is there a reason you call me that? You cut with the dull edge of the knife, don't you? You don't look like an orange peel left in the sun all day. Your skin's still soft and pretty. That is fair. Well, let me ask you something. What you need, youngster? Mm-hmm. <laughs> What do you do around here? <laughs> Whatever it takes to keep this place together. Better job on it than me. This place is coming apart then? Well, sorta. Our atomic reactors are mind sensitive. The people I got running it mean well, but... <laughs> well, they are not the sharpest tools in the shed, if you know what I mean. Hmm. So how bad is the situation? <laughs> Need a little time on the whetstone yourself, huh? I mean, they are not too bright. Here's an example. The other day, I get a report. On it, it says the main coolant valve should be shut down. That would have caused a meltdown. That would make the Grand Canyon look like a pig walla. <laughs> well, that does sound like it's something quite bad. Oh, yeah, that would be bad. <coughs> now, I got things fixed up in time, but <coughs> we came close to the end there. Whew. They need someone to watch out for them. Well, it's a good thing you're here to help them, then. <coughs> Who'd have thought I'd be making things right? Although, if we don't get a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator pretty damn quick, there is going to be trouble. I have to say, Harold is pretty dang smart. So, what is a hydromagnet magnetosphere regulator? <laughs> well, 
Well, technically, it's a thingy. Okay, now, what is it needed for? Without a functional hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, we are leaking radioactive coolant into the groundwater. Now that means anyone using that water is not going to need a nightlight to take a midnight piss. Also, we need more fuel because our power plant is not burning it very efficiently. <laughs> Definitely is no good. Where would you get one of those? Well, I'm certain those ornery bastards in Vault City have one. Not that they'd share. Hell, even if we had one of those thingies, I'm not so certain Festus could install the dang thing. <laughs> hmm. So you say Vault City wouldn't give you the part. Would they still not give you the part if they knew that without it, or with it, the groundwater wouldn't be polluted anymore? Well, they'd only help us if they thought it was in their own best interest to do so. <laughs> Not much chance of that happening. <laughs> hmm. You may be right. Still, someone could convince them that they should help you. They shoot ghouls on sight. Makes conversation a bit tricky. Hmm. What if I could tell them for you? Ask them for you? We need a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, and it needs to be installed soon, or we have got some real problems. So what happens if you don't get the part? <laughs> if we don't get it, you can bet those boneheads from Vault City will shut down our power plant permanently. What will you do then? Take dirt naps. Vault City doesn't play nice. They'll just come up here and kill all of us if we don't get that part. Well, <laughs> at least I'll have a tree for a monument. Just just one more time, let me know what the name of it is, so that I can write it down. We need a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, and it needs to be installed soon, or we have got some real problems. So, now that we've got that planned out. Who do you buy your fuel from? We get our fuel from the Broken Hills. That's a mining community some way south. Is there a place I can barter or trade here? Well, you might try talking a wooze over in the harp. You can't miss it. It's just across the way. <coughs> okay, so I might have to wait till day what you need, before youngster. stuff is available. Mm-hmm. What about the tree growing out of your head? Jealous? His name's Herbert. I talk to him when I get lonely. <laughs> Just kidding. His name's Bob. All right, Bob. Your Bob will know the answer to this. What you need, youngster? So, I'm, I'm curious. Do you know anything about a gek? Garden of Eden creation kit? A gek, right? Well, I seem to remember vaults had those. Don't know where you'd find one today. That's unfortunate, but thank you for your time, Harold. I'll see what I can do about your power plant. Okay. It's, um... Close this point. Okay. That's the well. The well. And what's up here? What's up, that? Ooh, more. Hello there, Percy Crump here, Master Merchant in this locality. But you can call me just plain old Aunt Percy. Yes, you can. Heck, everyone does. Now, what can I do for you? It's rendering, uh, what's going around town? Not a whole lot, now. Not a whole lot. New here in town? I hear Woo's rooked some newbie out of a black orchard the other day. Hehehe. <laughs> Anyhow, other than that, 
my friend's wood my friend Woody's done gone missing. Missing? Tell me more about that. Well, you see, I had a friend named old Woody. Yeah, Woody. He can sleep like nobody I ever did see. What's worse, he likes to travel. Really likes to kick up the dust that one does. Well, and it, it ain't so much of a problem around here, that is, but as I heard was Woody was going to take a stroll over to the den. You know where the den is? Yes, I do know where the den is. Go on. Well, anyhow. Like I've been saying, that ain't so much of a problem around Gecko, but you see, people in other parts ain't so used to used to the way we look. Can't you put two and two together, friend? I'm worried that Woody might have taken himself a nap in the den. It's a long trip, after all. And then they would have buried the poor cuss alive. I need someone to go look for him there. I miss him. That's why. Oh, I see. Want to know what's in it for you? Go on. Well, I know where I can get Harold a, a, a hold of a heck of a lot of pre-war stuff. Stock of genuine radix right away. Don't do me no good, no how. But I figure that that ought to be worth something to a smoother like you. You gonna take the job for it or not? Only, I'll only pay you off if I know what is safe. Yes, I'll do it. I'll get back to you soon. Okay. So, back to the den at some point. If I had to guess, he's in... Um, the slavers guild as one of the potential one of the slaves in there so just like uh what's his face um sister i can also free i can free uh two for one saving two people for the price of one slaughterhouse <laughs> What's this dog about? It dog does not do anything. It toilet. Okay, what's in here? Okay, nothing fancy. Just want to check to see really if there's just anything of anything. So far, just a whole lot of nothing going on. Do, 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 do. Oh, who's here? Hello there. Ever notice that every Brahmin has its own personality? Well, if you watch them long as I have, you sure notice. Hmm, interesting. Who are you? Well, my real name's John. Everyone out here just calls me Lumpy. Why Lumpy? Well, it's sort of a joke, you see. They usually call people like you and me smooth skins. But I was treated so poorly by, by other smooth skins down to Vault City that everyone here figured that I may be more Lumpy than they are. Why were you treated poorly in Vault City? Well, uh, they said I wasn't human enough for them. I'm sort of radiation resistant. Perfect for here, but they didn't like it. Treated me like dirt. Really? One day, I just couldn't take it anymore. I figured that dying out in the waste was better than living with those assholes in Vault City. So how'd you end up here, then? Well... Caravan from Broken Hills found me and brought me here. I've been here ever since. One thing about the ghouls here is that they care more about what kind of person you are on inside. It's like a big family. What's all that junk in the yard? Well, some of this junk is left over from what they were building the reactor before the war. The rest of this stuff, uh, I just don't know. Skeeter collects all kinds of stuff. Who's Skeeter? 
Well, Skeeter's sort of a mechanic. He'll take apart almost anything that you bring him. Gets most of them back together, too. Sooner or later, sometimes things end up working better than they did before. Where is... Where... Where is Skeeter? Well, he's right here. Just open your eyes and look around a bit. Sheesh. Do, 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 do. I'm guessing he's over here. Hello there. My name's Gordon. Gordon the Gecko. Hello, Gordon. I'm Beldrum. What do you do here? I look for opportunities. Opportunities? Like what? I look for ways of maximizing my potential worth. Hmm. Sounds like greed to me. I'm greedy, but most people don't understand greed. Greed is a powerful driving force. Throughout history, mankind's greatest achievements were driven by men that wanted to better their positions. Driven by greed. Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Hmm. I'll take your words for that, Gordon. What does that gre greed have to do with Gecko? So far, not much. But in greed lives Gecko's salvation. I have more important information about the survival of Gecko. But I can't get anyone to listen to me. What kind of information? Well, I've calculated that if our reactor was running properly, we could generate an enormous amount of excess power, far more than Gecko needs. Yeah, so... I have also found out from a reliable source that Vault City cannot expand without additional power. Vault City can't expand. Vault City, you see, has enough power for their current needs. As long as they are careful, but the Vault Power Plant that they use was never designed for their increased load the increased load their city is putting on it. It's at peak capacity right now. Without more power, they can't expand. So, how does that help us? Well, if our power plant's working better, we could trade our excess power and tactical expertise to Vault City in exchange for medical technology. Without more power, Sports City will burn out the reactor within 15 years. If Gecko's, re if Gecko's re reactor isn't repaired, I will have to scroll up and continue my monologue. We, if Gecko's reactor isn't repaired, we won't last half that time. Without medical technology, all of us ghouls are going to die off in the next 20 years anyway. Everyone loses a fault city and gecko don't cooperate so you're just a good samaritan then no, i don't buy that mm, not at all i got my end covered that'd be the natural choice to administer the project greed is my driving force but thousands of the lads are saved by it greed is good at least if it would be Anyone, if I could get anyone in both city to read my economic data. I might be able to show the data to someone in Vault City. Well, I have all the relevant economic data on a disk. You may have it. If you promise to show the data to someone in Vault City, I can understand and make use of the data it contains. But be discreet with it. But everyone there will be happy you talk to our schools. Okay, I'll take your disc. I'm sure that I can put it into the right hands. Goodbye. Let's see, can how do we get okay, from right here? The skater is. Hello there, I'm Skeeter. I sort of put things together here. Have you heard of a Gek? 
Hmm, looking for a Kit Kat. Well, I don't actually know where you might find one of those things. I know that Vault City probably used to, used to have one themselves. Vault City had one. They sure did. That's how they've done so well off. It sure didn't ca ain't cause they know what to do. It's cause the Gek done started up their crops. And got their town running when they they came out of the vault. So do you know who would have an unused Gek? Hmm, let me see. As I recollect, most vaults were supposed to have themselves a Gek. We might try looking for another vault somewhere. Thank you for the advice. Let me ask you something else. What do you do around here? Mostly I just tinker with things. Take them apart, try to put them back together. Mostly. Make them work better sometimes. Keeping myself out of trouble. That's what I mean. Yes. Let me ask you something. I have some things that I might want to have you take a look at. Hmm. What do you want me to look at? Right? I'd like this scope on the rifle. Well, this might challenge, might challenge, but I think I can fix this up real nice for you. Just sit tight for a while. He takes the weapon over, over to his workbench and locks it in a really big vice. Okay. Ah, <clears throat> oh, my voice, <laughs> my my voice is just like you've been doing a deep, gravelly voice. Why have you done this? As you wait, you can see Skeeter's back as he works on your weapon. You don't know exactly what he's doing, but there, that weird chuckle and all the pounding are making you nervous. More pounding and crack cackling as you wait some more. You whistle tunelessly and make shadow puppets against the back, of, back wall of Skeeter's workshop. Eventually, some of those shadows move on their own. There you go. You wake. Suddenly, a skitter takes your weapon from the workbench, and you can see a, a number of small, shiny metal parts lingering on the bench. <laughs> lingering on the bench, a skitter returns your weapon to you. That should do it. I reckon. Give her a try. Thank you. Thank you, skitter. I'll go try it out. I think this is going to be a case where I'm just going to go, you know what? I do not know what I need from there, and so I will just go back to Vault City and grab the stuff I need. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. I had a blast playing Fallout 2 and even editing the video. And if you did indeed enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content comes out at 8 a.m. PDT on Sundays. If you want to watch more right now, I have a video that YouTube recommends on the left, and on the right I have my latest video, and I hope you all have an amazing day. Because remember, you make my day so much better. Bye-bye!